Hello and welcome to another Coral Springs Improvement District's informational video short. Today we'll be taking a look at water distribution and wastewater collection, the two main areas of Coral Springs Improvement District's field operations. First, water distribution. Water mains ranging in size from 30 inches to 6 inches in diameter branch out and distribute water from our water plant to individual communities. From them, water services ranging from 2 inches to 1 inch in diameter feed water meters to our homes and businesses. We maintain an estimated 124 linear miles of water line inside an 8 square mile service area. At times you may see us making repairs to these water lines on your street. This makes up a big part of our daily activity. For the most part we rely on our customers to inform us of potential water leaks. If you see water seeping from the ground and don't know where it's coming from, please give us a call. Other water distribution field operations include meter replacement, meter reading verifications, water quality sampling, and fire hydrant repair and flushing. Water line repair is a fairly simple process. First we determine that there is a leak in the water line, then we excavate it and determine the manner in which to repair it. The repair is usually made by the installation of a repair coupling or a repair band. After repairs are made, we sample the water for chlorine and flush the line to eliminate any possible debris or contaminated water before backfilling the excavation. Let's talk briefly about our current meter replacement program. The Coral Springs Improvement District is currently purchasing radio read water meters. These meters transmit the read via a radio signal and are received in our computer by simply driving down the street. Some additional features of the new water meter include leak detection, backflow detection, and tamper alarm. Detailed consumption information is stored inside the water meter on an hourly basis for 120 days. From this information we can help the customer determine whether or not they have a leak or if you've had a surplus in consumption, at what time, and on what date. Fire hydrant flushing and repair. For water quality purposes, district-wide flushing is something that we do on a yearly basis. As we do this, we can determine the hydrant's function, making repairs when necessary, ensuring fire protection throughout the district. Now let's look at wastewater collection. Starting at our homes and businesses, wastewater travels through underground pipes in a gravity-fed system until they reach a point where they are collected in what's called a lift station. This gravity system is very reliable until the system incurs a problem such as tree roots, grease blockages, or broken or damaged pipes. Much of the sewer pipe in Coral Springs Improvement District is over 30 years old. At times, tree roots can make their way into the pipe, causing a blockage. If you experience a blockage, call us first. We are here to help. By calling us first, we can save you money. First, you should know where your sewer cleanout is located. The sewer cleanout is basically just an access point that we need in order to clear a blockage or run a closed circuit camera through. This is what one looks like. When you call us first, we can determine whether or not you have a blockage and most of the time clear the blockage right then and there, free of charge. Afterwards, we follow up the closed circuit camera to determine the exact cause of the blockage. We will then determine if further action is necessary and by whom, the district or the homeowner. We maintain a total of 41 lift stations that collect wastewater throughout the district. The primary job of the lift station is to collect, then lift this wastewater by pumping it into a line called a force main. The force main conveys wastewater to our sewer treatment plant to be processed. Starting in April of 2012, the district invested in a system that controls and communicates information to a central computer that also allows us to receive almost real-time information and gives us the ability to remotely control the pump operations at each lift station. This system is called SCADA, which stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. 24-7 monitoring of our lift stations allows us to receive alerts to a number of problems as they happen. The system calls personnel when alarms that need attention are activated. 
on-call personnel can then access the system via a PC, laptop, or a smartphone. The benefit of this system is huge. It allows us to control overtime hours reducing cost, help eliminate sewer spills, and tells us when there's a power outage, as well as many others. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.